Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post, and this is a brand new game for the channel. It's called Cyber Attack. It's created by a sole developer, and they approached me just recently to say, "Would you be interested in having a look at the game? Uh, give us a review, see what you think." And I thought, well, I had a, a look around, see what it was about, and I thought, well, actually, although it's not particularly sort of fitting in with the general style of game that I, I put onto the channel in terms of builders and simulations and stuff it does have some interesting and intriguing ideas in it which I thought actually might be might be worth looking at so that's what we're going to do um, so thank you so much to Luxo software Luxo interactive uh, for providing me with the key to take a look at this game and hopefully what we can look at here will be both interesting informative and uh, help you decide whether this game might be for you. So before we get into that though, let's have a look at what's happened so far. It was released into Early Access on Steam on the 16th of April 2020 and since then it's had three, four, five different updates and you can see here what's been happening. Uh, yeah, it's all about hacking. Yes, that's what it is. Um, in fact, let's go through, shall we? What the game is about the description of it so we are going to take control of an elite global team of hackers intercepting communications between corporations governments and criminals all around the world in this game we will choose to protect humanity by exposing private messages between dangerous individuals or exploit corporations to increase our fortune and that choice is ours now, it's a unique blend of strategy and economics, which is the, one of the things that appealed to me. As you'll see, there's, there's a few little things in there which, you know, you wouldn't necessarily expect in, in a relatively simple and straightforward game like this that first appears to be. The player has the ability to hack numerous different devices in over 7,000 cities. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is that big a number. Every but beware, it says every move you make has consequences attacking corporations can yield a lot of profit but will make your group more recognizable and easier to track so be wary and we'll see some of the effects of that as we go through this first look and remember you aren't the only hacker corrupt politicians can hire rival teams to expose and destroy your group your fame could become dangerous so act carefully. Who knows what tomorrow will bring? Success or shame? Now, at the sta this stage of the early access, we have just one scenario to play with, which is called, as we will see, Friend of Humanity. Um, but uh, in the full game, um, it's going to take a few months yet. The developer has suggested somewhere between three and nine months, perhaps. He wants this released later this year. So... Uh, Yep, that's the sort of time scale we're looking at at the moment anyway. is The, the developer is, is suggesting we will get three scenarios uh, which will allow us to shape and control our organi organisations with different goals and different moralities. So yeah, there's all sorts of scope here for interesting moral choices, which is one of the things that attracted it to me. So, what can we do in it? Uh, first off, I want to always look at the settings. We've got a variety of language already, 99% uh, of languages anyway, 99% of some languages. Uh, show countries names, again that's, that's useful uh, as we'll see on the map, and also whether it highlights countries or not. Uh, one little thing on this, uh, it would be nice if there was perhaps a little bit sort of more help here as to what these options might do, particularly for adding any more detailed uh, options in here like difficulty levels, or, or speeds and stuff like that, that it might be useful. I just have some sort of rollover um, tool tip or some such, just sort of say what, what the effect of these changes might be. The map, resol the screen resolution currently only goes up to 1920 by 1080, uh, but you've got a variety of resolutions uh, beneath that. I'm playing on high quality, full screen, post-processing effect. Uh, the audio, it's a really nice, actually, sort of driving beat. 
It's not too aggressive or screechy. Um, I'm quite happy to have it thundering in my ears as it works. It really sort of gives you that feel that you got from... Do you remember the film called Hackers? I don't think it was a great film, although it had some great actors in it. I'm thinking Johnny Lee Miller, River Phoenix, uh, Robert Redford, I think. I think it was Robert Redford. A couple of other people. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm I'm none of those people, by the way. Yeah, I'm neither as good-looking or as talented as any of those people in whatever they do. Anyway, so let's save those changes. Now, one thing here, when we go to play this game, is you are playing in effectively Iron Man mode. You only have one save, and you don't have the option to sort of go back and start again. You only get to save your game progress when you exit that game session. Unlike most of the games I play, where it's nice to try things out, realise you've made a real pig's ear of it, and then go back to a few days before and do it again, but better. Uh, in this game, you succeed or fail, and that's it. So be aware of that. Whether we get more sort of save game slots going forward, I don't know. But this kind of pro this kind of idea, it sort of suits this game, I think. Although I might not like it personally. So let's, we, we, uh, that was a bad game. This was my test game. Let's start a new one. Right, we need to give ourselves a name. Now this, I'm afraid, is where I start to make sort of negative comments. Just a heads up on that. Um, in this review, this sort of first look at the game, a lot of things I say might sound negative um, or critical. They're meant to be constructive. Uh, the idea is, is to look at this and think how I, as a player, particularly a new player, would see this and think, oh, hang on, that's slightly annoying and frustrating. Um, but they're all meant as very constructive criticism in the spirit of cooperation and collaboration in making this game as good as it can possibly be, which obviously is the developer's intention. So my first little problem here. I can't put a space in my name. Now, I've played a few games recently in Early Access where that has been a problem, and it annoyed me there too. It annoys me here. <laughs> Please let me have a space in that name. The other games uh, explained it away by saying that the organisation name was used for their save game files, um, so there was an issue with that. They got around it. It'd be great if... Um, Luco Interactive could get around this as well. So, yeah, that's my first little problem. Although I can put an uppercase letter in the middle, so that's fine. I don't want to call myself that, though. Uh, we'll call ourselves Ajax Central, which is kind of discreet. The other slightly annoying thing here as well is I can't put hash signs in, or at signs, or minuses, or any other special characters, apart from numbers, apparently. Um, which is slightly, again, it would be lovely in a game like this, looking at a sort of computerised, an IT environment, a hacking environment, everyone uses symbols in their names, don't they? So it'd be nice if we could do that here too. But there we are, that's that out of the way, so let's continue, let's get on to the, and this is the world map. Look, yeah, in here there are 7,000 cities all across the globe. So you can go anywhere. Now our first choice is where do we want to locate our headquarters? So, I'm I'm British, I'm English, I'm from the south of England, and one of my favourite cities, one of the most wonderful, best cities in the entire world, one of the most exciting cities in the world, is Bristol. So I'm going to choose that as my home base. So, welcome to Cyber Attack. So this is our first scenario. This is the only one we've got at the moment in early access. A friend of humanity, which kind of suggests that we are going to be playing the good guys. So I'm going to try and do that because I am a good guy. That works for me. So we'll close that alert and we can start hacking soon. But before I do that, a quick notice around the screen here. We've got our menu bar here. You see, save and quit. No save and carry on. No. One save. That's all you get, matey. That's it. Uh, and our options. At the top here, we've got various sort of counters for success. Again, it would be lovely if we could have some tooltips on these. 
I think you can vaguely work out what they are uh, as you're playing the game. So I think this one is our achievement score. This is the money in our bank. These things count, as we'll see momentarily. Uh, this, I believe, is... Um, I, I'm not sure what that one is. I think that might be followers. Or is that followers? Yeah, one, or social... Wear, one of those. <laughs> This is kind of an honour or a like system, so whether you're a good guy or a bad guy, whether you're trusted or not, I believe that's how that works. And finally over here, look, there's a greater than symbol and an underscore. I'd like those in my name, please, <laughs> uh, is the number of hacks you've got currently scheduled to be running. And this is our information panel, our progress in terms of our scenario goals. Um, and who we are, and this is the members of our team. Again, this is one thing I'd love to be able to do, is change my name. I mean, I don't want to just be you. I don't want to just be Ajax. I want to be Bad Wolf. Or Cypher with a asterisk in the middle or something. Yeah, it'd be lovely if I could sort of just personalise that a little bit. To sort of put in my name that I would like to be known as. Portraits? Yeah, maybe, maybe not. I'm not worried about portraits. They're, that's not really the sort of the, the, the style of this game. But it'd be nice if I could change my name. Um, so we have, this is uh, Mind CA Coins. What's the CA? Ah, Cyber Attack, of course. Maybe that's kind of a Bitcoin kind of thing. Yeah, uh, we have personal data on so many people. We can sell that to online black markets. Ooh. I'm sure I won't do that because I'm a good guy. No. We also have here development, which I, I liked when I first saw it. A kind of research tree. As you progress, as you realise how the game is going, how, you're, how successful you're being or not, you can focus on particular types of activity. Like building up your own hardware to make your hacks faster, to be more secure uh, against being hacked yourself to develop viruses to deal with those nasty corrupt people that you're trying to hack into or yet yeah, there's all sorts of things you can do here and as it says here we want uh, hacking theory hacking theory i don't i could change the name of my organization can i do that here uh can i put a space in there no it's the same screen never mind <laughs> okay so that's who we are ajax central so i want hacking theory which requires 10 on the score here, which I've got. So let's click on that. And uh, that's fine. So I can hire three new hackers. Oh no, that's, that's a different, that's a different thing. <laughs> and here, so multi-hacking, I can hack up to two networks simultaneously. Ah, uh, but for that, for that, I need cooperation. And that's gonna cost me, yeah, I need 25 achievement score here and I need 30,000, 30k which I don't have so I can't do that yet so it looks like I can only break into one city at a time uh, viruses, we don't do viruses yet uh, that's in the development uh, so we'll, we'll get to those later uh, one of the slight issue I've got here is if you sit around like I'm doing talking and thinking about things these alerts can pop up and you have to close each one of them individually it would be nice if you could press escape or delete or some key uh, to get rid of all of them at once. Yeah, you probably should read them, but sometimes you can't be bothered. Anyway, we've been, someone's tried to attack us from Mali, but we fought that off. Okay, so let's hack somewhere. Um, whoop, uh, oh, one other little thing here, be nice to control the speed at which this globe spins. Let's hack London, shall we? Uh, London. Oh, police from the main. From, police in Bristol are trying to attack me. I'm not having any of that. Right, let's get into London. Okay, uh, we can't create a new branch. But we need more technology for that. We need to move on the development tree before we can uh, get into get more branches. Uh, we can show the city, which just highlights where it is on the map. But let's hack it. And first thing we do in a hack is we need to connect into. The networks in that city that's what's going on here if i want to attack some other city uh, i can't because i need to get that hacking theory technology sorted out on the development tree as we saw and as you can see here it's telling us we're hacking london 
got that on going. Italy. Again, could this be something that I could follow up? If I go to Italy, I might get um, more money from their government. We have one hack at the top here being uh, recorded. Uh, let's hack this city. Now, this is um, a mini game, which I didn't realise what was going on to start with. So what you're doing here is you're clicking to get the most number of devices. And the number of devices you're hacked is clicked off at the top here. So you can see how well you're doing and how much time you've got left. And all the while you're trying to avoid these red circles, which are effectively firewalls. And what happens is, if a firewall covers one of these nodes, you can't get to it. Aha! The end of our hack. Um, so yeah, it's, it's one of those little mini games in there, which, which is a sort of speed reflex thing. So it's not just the thoughtful thing about developing your business, the strategy of your business, but also those the sort of mini game kind of reflex speedy kind of thing, which is kind of fun. So what are we going to do here? Welcome to Cyber Attack, the start of our adventure. We're ready to become a hacker. I am a hacker already. How dare you? So click the toggle below and try to hack another city. Basically, hi, welcome. You're on the first rung of the very long ladder. So these are the rewards we get. If they're in green, we get the reward. If they're greyed out, we don't get that reward. We will see some in red in future hacks, which means that's negative. We lose money, we lose, lose prestige, or whatever it might be. Again, it'd be nice to know what these symbols actually mean. So yeah, that's going up there. So let's become a hacker, but with award. Yeah, I need some money. I need 35, is it K? 30K to get the uh, corporation. So let's take that. And we're gonna save the personal data of those 2,800 people. I'm going to access these 1,500 social media accounts. And for that, well, that goes into our vault, doesn't it, presumably. So here you see we get uh, a, a score achievement and we get this here. Is that fame, perhaps? It could be. Finish hacking. If we go into progress here, we can see, yeah, we've got that amount of data. We've hacked three devices. We clicked on those three uh, nodes. Um, and we can sell for on the black market and we would lose red thumb there. We'd lose some of our prestige. Oh, we're minus two now anyway. Oh, that's a bit mean, isn't it? Okay, so let's go to Cambridge. One thing to notice here in these boxes, the detection risk. It was none to start with, if I remember correctly, but this increases every time you do a hack within a country. So let's hack Cambridge. Okay, so we're ready to hack Cambridge. 850 devices, that's a nice number. All these numbers are different, so you've got to sort of spin around here. 81, no. 965, there. And our, counter is our time is counting down. 871, that's good. We're getting a good number of devices here. 741, this is looking good. 12 seconds, 11 seconds left. Another 560. Yeah, so it's going for, for one to start with. Or taking the time to spin around what these nodes all refer to. Okay, so the result of this hack. The local police cleared the city of gangs, but they have a problem with a new, more dangerous gang. And could we scan the view from CCTV cameras? They need to find places important for this gang. Uh, so we can help track down the criminals, in which case we get score, money... Uh, whatever the I means, and a thumbs up, which means friends, possibly, or likes. <laughs> or we could warn the gang about the police, so we're playing the bad guys, so we would lose the uh, the positive reaction we get. So we'll help with the criminals, because I'm a good guy. We'll save that personal data, and we'll post the information about the hack, about the attack on hacked accounts. Again, helping people secure their social media accounts. That's what a good hacker does. If we go to Ipswich now, you'll see the detection risk is increasing. So let's avoid that for a moment. Now, Italy was mentioned earlier, wasn't it? As a government wants to sort of tackle crime. Oh, but Poland does. Oh, let's go to Poland then. Uh, so, well, one thing... Oh, we yeah, have Poznan. Let's go there. Medium risk. Oh, dear. Why is that medium? 
Ooh, maybe it's different for each city. One thing I like about the game is it's putting the is giving us the city names in their correct local. I think it's local spelling with the accents and everything, which gives me another little issue, which I'll come to in a moment once once we've completed this hack. If Poznan, that's not enough. That's enough. Got hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. It's always you get you start getting eager now. Want to get things done? I went to the wrong one. Done. Uh, we'll take that one. Sixteen seconds left. Now, if I go to this one, can I get there? I can, but I can't get to this one because that red circle is around it. So I clicked on it, but that little blue bar you've seen doesn't get there. So that that's the point of trying to avoid those, as it were, firewalls coming in. So cybersecurity, one of the biggest IT corporations, has almost lost sensitive data. Um, yeah, some of the English here it's slightly odd grammatically, but we won't, we won't worry about that too much here. They want you to help them with securing their servers. Of course I will. Uh, or we could get do the same thing, but with more money and less sort of positive reaction. So let's do that, and we'll post that information there. Okay, now, about those names. Oh, I thought I spelled with an O. It is in England. But anyway, uh, these names here. Uh, let's try Lubeck. I've been to Lubeck, so it's an interesting city. If I search for Lubeck, if I can spell it, there's Lubeck. Find that city. It doesn't find it. If I spell Lubeck with the uppercase L, it doesn't find it. If I type in Paris, it doesn't find it. But if I type Paris with an uppercase P, it does find it. And show the city, it takes me and focuses on Paris. Uh, so yeah, it'd be nice if it didn't insist on you being able to type in the uh, the accented characters within the city names. You could type them in just standard ASCII Roman characters. Uh, yeah, I fought off another attack from the police. Uh, the other issue I've got is if I type in new, it can't find it. Uh, can I go so I cut the yeah. <laughs> Uh, likewise, if I type in York, will it find York? It should. It. Oh, that's interesting. It's found York in the UK, and not the even more famous York in the UK. Oh, that. Oh, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not sure about that. Um, but the, the thing is, you can't type in just part of a name. It would be nice if you could type in a part of the name as well. Um, though, of course, if in places like New York. Presumably New York is in here, with the correct capitalization. Yeah, New York is here. Um, it would have to provide a list of, do you mean New York, or York, or Yorkchester, or wherever. So again, that little search I think needs a little bit of beefing up. Um, so it t translates any accented characters uh, and treats the basic Alf ASCII character as, uh, as an equivalent. Okay, one of your hackers has been detained by police, but no evidence found. Oh, have I got... There's only me? <laughs> There's only me? Uh, oh, I've got 70k, so I can now go into development. I can get cooperation, which gives me three new hackers. And I can do multi-hacking. So if I go into progress, yep. You see, they've got more fun names. It'd be nice if they had symbols in them as well. And that means I can hack into... Multiple multiple cities at the same time. Let's go into yeah Guadalajara. No risk of detection, uh, and also Salamanca. A low risk now in Salamanca. Ah no! Right, I'm being hacked, which means I have to disconnect my existing attempts to prevent these guys finding me. Yes, disconnect, and that bar goes down. I'm not quite sure what happens because I've not let it go up. I've not been brave enough to uh, to let the bar fill up. So 
I'm not, I think they steal data, is what they do. And I don't want them to steal my data. I haven't got that much yet. Yeah, I've only got, yeah, that so far. So once that's done. So that's I've got a 30 score, so I've now got some more of the sort of that cup. Uh, so where do, where are we going? Uh, Madrid, let's go to Madrid. Oh, it's now medium. Oh, that's annoying. France. Where's Paris? Let's go to Paris. Yeah, no detection risk in Paris. That's fine. Okay, we're ready to hack into Madrid. Let's go there. Oh, 843. That's a nice number. Uh, 934. That's an even nicer number. Uh, I want a big number here. Can I get that one? That one? I can. That's a nice number. No, no, 801. I've only got three seconds left. Can I get there in time? I'm not sure. I don't think I did. Nope. Okay. So the government of this country, that's Spain. It'd be nice if it put Spain in there, to be honest. If that could be sort of, yeah, variable text. Wants to allow voting at an upcoming election via the internet. Ooh, sounds a dangerous idea. Could you help them? Sure, I could. And I can either have... Uh, Ice following me, presumably that's what that is, or popularity, or money. Um, let's go with popularity for the moment, I think. Again, you kind of got to keep in the back of your mind that development tree. Where do I want to go next? What do I need? Popularity, followers, do I need money? Um, I've not been paying attention, so I don't know. So I've gone for popularity because I like being popular. <laughs> Why not? Uh, personal data, we've got that. We've got that. Let's finish that hacking. Okay, we're waiting for Paris. And then we'll wrap this episode up, I think. And we're ready to go into Paris. Uh, I'm six, that's quite good. Uh, let's go that one. Again, I'm taking time deciding on which of these nodes to go to. Which is wasting my valuable hacking time. Because you've got to get in and get out quick. Is the idea I think. The hacking time used to be longer in the first release of the game. I think people said it just took too long and it got a bit dull and tedious and I have a feeling that whole node selection thing is new from one of the recent updates as well. Okay so Safety First, a well-known programming company is organizing a hacking event. Hackers from around the world will try and break, break their new applications for a huge prize. You have found vulnerability. I have, because I'm really, really good. What do you want to do with that? Uh, I am the winner, or their competition will pay more for it. Uh, I, I'd like the money, I think, actually. Yeah, and I've got a fair amount of data. And we'll finish that hacking. That's good. Uh, so our progress. We could sell our data for 90k, or whatever it would cost doesn't tell us here. I wonder if it, it might be nice if it could tell you how much you would make from selling your data. Uh, pro, uh, that's, that was progress. I want to, go to, want to go to development. So what's the next thing to look at here? Uh, what can I afford? I've got 200 of that. I haven't got 12 people here. No. Um, well, I could do Silent Thief, which allows me to get credit card information. I've got four people and 200 score. So I could do that one next. So I've selected that. But you're going to have to wait. If I do a second episode of this game, will I start hacking and collecting credit card data and making money from that? So that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. So I hope you've enjoyed this first look at Cyber Attack, a fascinating new game with lots of potential, I think. Early access on Steam. Currently, I think, at 15% discount. Um, so check it out. If you've got any questions about it, then do let me know. If you'd like to see more about this game, then do let me know as well. Uh, one way of doing that, of course, is just giving me a like, a thumbs up on the video. Even better, though, drop a note into the comments box below. Let me know what you think. Have I misjudged the game? Am I getting it wrong? Are there any other positives or negatives that you think we should be aware of? Just give, give, tell us what you think.
drop a note into the comments box. That would be awesome. It would be awesome to hear from you. And of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. That way you'll know when I upload another one of these, or indeed any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, taking a first look at Cyber Attack. Until the next time, bye bye for now.